people who got arrested for sitting and swinging at a park five yards away from their house. That's a war on kids. I don't believe the statistics justify every form of crime prevention. I mean, if we chain people up statistically, you could show that it reduces crime. Our news at 11. It's meant to keep the streets safe and keep young people out of trouble, but tonight some teenagers are saying they are not buying the San Diego curfew. Good evening. I'm Hal Clement. And I'm Denise Yamada. Thank you for joining us tonight. The protest started at Mission Bay Park an hour ago at 10 o'clock, the time the curfew goes into effect. News 8's Ted Garcia is at the scene with the very latest. Ted? Well, Denise, if you're wondering where your kids are tonight, they could be here in Mission Bay Park. There's a couple of dozen of them holding signs here. What they're protesting is the city's 10 p.m. curfew for people under 18. Now, they actually have a permit to hold this rally, and it's a noisy one with lots of screaming teenagers, megaphones, and music. Now, if the curfew is at 10 o'clock, what are these kids doing here? Well, they're exempt from the curfew if it's an organized political rally. Now, just recently, there was controversy over the curfew when it was ruled unconstitutional by a federal court, but the city changed some vague language, and now the city says everything should hold up in court if it's challenged again. Still, the protesters say the curfew is overkill and violates teenagers' rights. We have a little bit of spray paint while we arrest everyone. We have a few speeders on the highway. Do we take everyone off the road? No, we don't. We don't. This shouldn't even be an option. This law is so flawed, it's unbelievable. It persecutes 95% of the children population for the act of what, 5%? I don't think that there should be a curfew. Teenagers aren't criminals. You're looking at a live picture of the continuing teen curfew protest going on at Mission Beach tonight. For the third night in a row, San Diego teens hit the streets in protest. And they promised to protest every night until the city of San Diego repeals its new curfew law. Again, a live picture of the protest in Mission Beach. Now, San Diego's 50-year-old curfew law was ruled unconstitutional. But then the city adopted a new curfew law. The teens say they have a right to be out. And here's why police say the new law is needed. San Diego police officer Vanessa Holland works the night shift at the beach. She's on the front lines of the fight against juvenile crime. We had yesterday five kids in a stolen car. I don't think any of them were over the age of 16. San Diego's new curfew law is in place now, and the city says it's working. Officers are using the law to make the streets safer for both children and adults. There are truly a lot of uh, true criminal juveniles within the system. I mean, this is not, you know, just you know, kids out hanging at the beach. That's not what this is about.
week two of their protest against the curfew law. A small group of teenagers has been gathering at night for a week now to protest the city's 10 p.m. curfew. Last night, they wrapped themselves in chicken wire. They say the curfew is like being in prison for people under 18. Police can't arrest the teens because there is an exception to the ordinance for demonstrations. Denise, you might remember that we were standing here exactly two weeks ago when this all started, and the scene has changed. That's because there were about two dozen protesters then. Tonight, about 150. Their goal to be out here until the city repeals the 10 p.m. curfew. But the problem, you're hearing it, the noise. For six weeks now, a Pacific Beach man has been organizing protests over the city's curfew ordinance. Now it looks like he's going to be getting some national publicity. <laughs> to them, this is David versus Goliath, and this is their David. Listen, if you don't like let bullies pick on you in high school, don't let the government pick on you in real life. He is David Doctor, and he's 26, so he isn't affected by the curfew, but to him, it's a civil rights issue. And for weeks, he's been organizing protests, fighting City Hall. So far, City Hall hasn't budged. Statistics show that as a result of our policy that we have had a reduction of uh, victimization of young people. Well, I don't believe the statistics justify every form of crime prevention. I mean, if we chain people up statistically, you could show that it reduces crime. So it doesn't appear that the city is going to change its position, and the protests have been going on for six weeks. Ah, but now there is a new player. MTV is bringing the issue to a national audience. Its cameras will cover one of his protests tomorrow night for an upcoming broadcast, but the city remains unmoved. National publicity isn't likely to change that. Nobody get worried about a thing. This is protected under the First Amendment, and it's written into the law. No one will be arrested. We're just here to win people over. I just get so psyched when people realize what it is to be an American. I mean, the First Amendment is what it's all about. Protesting, freedom of speech, gathering, that's being an American. It's 10 o'clock, and the city of San Diego says if you're under 18, you're not allowed on the streets. But hundreds of teens are in downtown San Diego right now protesting that law. And as Joanna Canals tells us, tonight they're not alone. Joanna. Well, Mary, for the last two months, teens, along with their leader, Dave Doctor, have been protesting in several parts of San Diego against the teen curfew. But tonight's rally in front of Planet Hollywood is going to receive a lot more attention, and that's mainly because MTV is here covering it. Many of them are serious about this protest, but I heard many of them saying also that they just wanted to be on TV. Now, the reason MTV is here is because they're doing a series on youth rights, and the leader of this protest got a hold of MTV producers. He actually faxed us. He's a pretty savvy young person, and he just sent us out a press release telling us about it, and it just so happened that we were doing a series on the topic, so it came out. You know, MTV definitely excites us that we are able to take our message to the nation, but these people are under 18. They are being imprisoned every night. A lot of the teens are serious about this, but you never know what this kind of coverage does to them. MTV has been following several of these protests through different cities in the country. sitting idly by while the government tells its citizens what they can do and where they can go, even if they're just telling it to kids. In San Diego, a 26-year-old anti-curfew activist has brought back the noisy protest style of the 60s to fight this new youth war of the 90s. It's not a curfew, it is imprisonment. Anyone who calls it a curfew, just ask them. Why don't they try and stay in it after 10 every single night? If they can blatantly disregard the First Amendment for people under 18 on some 
you know, scare tactic of the gang, well, then they'll just wait for another reason to take away my freedom to move. To me, I view the curfew as a violation of freedom, because in this country, we're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty, not automatically locked up for crimes we haven't yet committed. The fact is that during curfew hours, you can measure 1994 and you can measure 1997, and I can tell you that there are a lot less kids becoming victims of crime because of the curfew enforcement. Even if it was 100% effective, that wouldn't, that's irrelevant to me. The fact of the matter is it's not a proper solution to the problem. Our Ted Garcia has more live tonight from the Community Concourse. Ted? Well, we've got kind of a crowd going out here right now. They've got the bullhorns, they've got a band, and they've also got their signs that say the curfew is unjust. Punish criminals, not teenagers. Now, the city's curfew says that minors have to be off the streets between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m., and these teenagers are saying that's just not right. It is violating their, uh, their rights. We're going to talk to one of the protesters out here. What's your name? Michal Landau. Tell me why you're out here. I'm here because I believe that the curfew law is unjust in its essence. You can't lock a group of people up merely because there is crime. It's the equivalent of saying black people commit the most crimes proportionally, so we'll lock them up. It's unconstitutional, it's unjust, it inhibits our freedom. Well, now the city is saying that they're doing this for your own good and that crime has gone down since the curfew has been in effect. Our freedom of assembly is inherent in the American Constitution. Freedom for young people to get together, enjoy themselves, be with each other outside is so fundamental. It's not going to protect anyone to keep us at home. Okay, thank you very much. That's one opinion from the protesters out here. I want to show you something. They've got these signs to say, repeal the curfew. I'm going to show it to you. All of these people out here are wearing these stickers. Now, I want to read a little bit of it to you. It says, if you wear this sticker, you are exempt from the curfew because you are exercising your First Amendment right to protest the curfew. And if you are arrested, plead innocent and sue the police for violating your rights. Ted, I know you've covered their protests before. What's the reaction from the city? Oh, the city right now is saying that there is no way, you talk to any politician or city council member, that there is no way that this uh, curfew is going to be rescinded at any time. Even Mayor Golding showed up today, but not to lend her support. She says the city will not bend on this one. And I want you to know that overwhelmingly, the majority of parents and citizens I have talked to are very supportive of it. Parents like Becky Sidecheck. She has a 13-year-old and supports the curfew, but says we shouldn't need one in the first place. It's a shame that it has to come to that, but there's just not enough people out there that are taking care of their kids. There's just too many letting them do what they want to do. Now, actually, a 14-year-old boy that I talked to today who is against the curfew used the same logic as that woman saying it should be up to the parents, not the city.